All right, all right. L-D-M-M-A-C. It is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Listen, guys. Why am I even making a video about this? Why am I making a video about this? Listen, folks. Listen. Listen. <laughs> Let, let's just take a deep breath here, everybody. Okay? Folks, we know what's going to happen in this fight. Okay? Uh, no disrespect to Roxanne Modafferi. I'm not even much of a fan of hers anyway. I mean, you know, uh, cosplay girl, it's just not for everybody. Okay? Maybe you guys like cosplay and maybe y'all like all the little funny little characters that she dressed up as. Who the hell knows, okay? All I know is that cosplay girl, she finna, you know, she finna reenact her ass whooping. She finna get a reenactment of the ass whooping that she about to get. Folks, that's just the way that is. That's just the way that is, okay? Um, you know, Roxanne out of Ferry, you know, the girl can take an ass whooping, though. She can take an ass whooping like no other. I mean, Roxanne out of Ferry can take a beating. She can take a beating, a licking, and keep on ticking, okay? That's Roxanne out of Ferry. She can take a licking and just keep on ticking, okay? I mean, Roxanne gets slapped around, and Roxanne come right back. Like, this is the punching bag that won't ever bust, okay? Now, with that all being said, yeah, sure. Roxanne is about to walk into this, in, into a good old-fashioned ass whoop. She about to. But Roxanne gonna be there for the whole three rounds, okay? Um, I can't see Antonina stopping Roxanne out of fair. I can't see her stopping Roxanne. Battery about death. I can't see her doing that, but you know what I can see? Um, I can see Antonina just doing whatever she want to do. I can see Antonina just beating the living out of Roxanne. I can see it, y'all. Um, Roxanne might have fair. She's too sloppy, man. She's too sloppy. Her style is, is suited for somebody like Antonina. You know, her punches, man, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. It's like when she throw punches, watching Roxanne is really cringeworthy, y'all. And I hate to say it. I don't mean to sound so, you know, whatever. But I don't care. My channel. It's cringeworthy to watch Roxanne fight, okay? You see, you know, her ground game. It's, it's, it's okay. When she gets you to the ground, then, you know, she kind of has a chance. But it's like all her movements, man. Roxanne look like a robot, man. Roxanne look like a robot that just, you know, I don't know, man. Like, like she a robot that just got a steroid needle up her a PG-13 channel. Like, literally, man. Like, I'm like, God, dog. Man. Like, how does this girl, it look like it hurts. Like, when Roxanne, say if, if you to see Roxanne running, Roxanne look like she hurt to move, man. Like, it's like she moved like some kind of stiff scarecrow. And so, you know, I'm like, dang. But, you know what? Roxanne somehow still manages, you know, to be in fights. And some of her opponents swear by it that, look, fighting Roxanne out of ferry is difficult. A lot of her opponents, they swear by it, man. I've, I've, I've actually talked to people that know Roxanne, and, man, you know, Roxanne is tough to deal with because she just, you know, her movements are not, like, they're not fluid, you know. So doing what you want to do to Roxanne sometimes don't happen. But me personally, I think Roxanne got a style that's suited for Antonina just to beat the hell out of her. I, I do because, you know, Roxanne don't employ head movement, man. Her stand-up game's not there, and you know what she's going to try to do. She's gonna try to throw, you know, she's gonna try to throw any kind of strike. She might even try to throw a punch. Then she's gonna try to duck, try to get Antonina to the ground. It's not gonna work, man. You know, Antonina takedown defense, it's pretty decent. So, I mean, Roxy ain't gonna try. Let me, let me tell y'all how the fight gonna go out. Okay, the fight gonna start, okay? Roxanne, you know, she gonna do these little crazy little movements and I, I don't I don't know, I, I call it the Roxanne shuffle. Okay, she's gonna do the Roxanne shuffle. Antonina gonna measure her. Antonina gonna hit her with a left hand down the pipe. Roxanne Mighty Fairy head gonna snap back. Roxanne Mighty Fairy gonna come forward, okay? She gonna try for a takedown. Antonina gonna, gonna stuff the takedown, okay? Then she gonna catch Roxanne with a knee, okay? Roxanne gonna bag up, try to shake that off. Antonina gonna hunt her down. Antonina gonna kick Roxanne in them bad knees, okay? Listen, man, I know that sounds dirty, but this the fight game, man. It's the hurt game, okay? And if Antonina knows something wrong with you, they gonna go. If a fighter knows, that you got a weakness, they gonna go for it. Antonina gonna tear them knees up, man. Roxanne got weak knees. Antonina gonna kick her in them knees. Roxanne gonna, you know, feel it. Uh, she gonna feel it. She gonna crumple a little bit. She gonna get back up, you know, or she gonna come back at Antonina. She gonna try for another takedown. Antonina gonna uh, grab that neck, trap that girl in that Muay Thai clinch. Antonina gonna beat the hell out of her, man. I'm telling you, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a five-star beatdown, okay? 
Roxanne gonna try something, man, and you know, she gonna try something off the wall. Antonini gonna see it coming. She gonna counter Roxanne. You know, I don't see Roxanne getting knocked out though. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if Antonina power. I don't know if her power is good enough to knock out Roxanne. But Antonina got respectable power. She got respectable power. And, uh, you know, it's enough to keep Roxanne back or it's enough to get Roxanne's attention, okay? Uh, like, Roxanne not going to walk through Antonina, okay? And I always say, Pavel has a plan. But, guys, you know, a lot of y'all have been asking me, Coach, could you, you know, could, hey, man, you going to make a video about Roxanne and Antonina? And like, man, for what? Y'all know how this fight going to go. Y'all know. It, it's, it's really I'm doing this because y'all, but y'all know how this fight going to go. You know what's going to happen, okay? Antonina going to, look, Antonina, we, look, we might see Antonina turn into damn Thanos in there. I mean, I'm, guys, I'm not kidding y'all. We might see Antonina turn into freaking Thanos. Hell, we might see Antonina power up uh, 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 to be a damn Super Saiyan, Kale and Khalifa. You know, that's what we going to see. Like, look, man, I respect Roxanne Hustle. I respect Roxanne. You know, Ro Roxanne need a little bit of money. Roxanne need a small bag. I get it. She got to keep fighting. I just think, man, I don't know, man. I think Roxanne, all the punishment, all the, all the beatings, the shots to the head, this girl, I just think the fight game is done passed her by, man. I think Roxanne is another one of them fighters that need to be like, yo, let's hang it up, okay? It's about, I got a list of 10 fighters who I think, or no, I got a list of seven women's MMA fighters who I think they need to hang it up, man. They just, they need to hang it up. Because you can tell, man, they, they, age done caught up. It's the mobility. It's not there anymore. It's a couple of them that just need to hang it up. They do, man. Like, when you get to the point, man, where people can't predict you and you're predictable and you're not explosive, you got knees and ankles, and, you know, at a point, man, it's time to be like, okay, I retire. But see, I'm going to tell you, man, people like Roxanne Mata Ferry, it's like they're alive, man. Their, their life is fighting. That's what it is. And a good friend of mine told me, man, she told me this, and you know what, now I'm starting to see it's true. She said, you know, the fighter lifestyle don't prepare you. It don't really prepare you for the real world. Now, what she meant by that, she didn't say that it didn't prepare you to do another job. What she said was the fighter lifestyle don't prepare you because, you know, all fighters do, the majority of them, they eat, they sleep, they train. That's it. And that's what she was telling me. She said, yeah, you know, you have time for leisure stuff. But she said, for the most part, you eat, you sleep, you train. If you live in a fighter lifestyle. And then she said, when you go outside of that regiment, you know, when you really, when you get to the, to the outside of that regiment, she was like, fighters don't know how to, they don't know how to, like, they don't know how to behave. Or they don't know how to, you know, integrate themselves into the real world. That's what she was saying. She said, I see a lot of these fighters all the time, especially the young ones. They don't understand, man. And you know what? I didn't even know that certain fighters, they just their social skills are very poor. You know, at first I couldn't see it, but you know, I look at some fighters and when they interview, I can I can see that, you know, where the social skills aren't there. It's because they're in there with other fighters, okay? And they're pretty much almost locked away from the real world. But the real world to a lot of fighters don't even matter sometimes. It's not even a reality. Like their reality is the gym and, and going to fights. That's it. That's their reality. So it's hard for them to integrate into the real world. It's difficult for fighters. And, you know, life out the fighting. And she's out there going to make up a book. You know, she's writing a book about it now. And I can't tell you all the details because if I tell you, I won't get my free autographed copy that she promised me. But, you know, she was telling me that the life after fighting is just these fighters don't know how to live out the fighting. And, you know what, I think Roxanne Montefiore is a smart girl. I think she can figure out something to do. But she's one of those people that she's in deep in the fighter lifestyle. She's very deep in it. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious, man. Like, what is, what is somebody like Roxanne going to do when she can no longer fight? Like, what, what is she actually going to do? You know, maybe she does have skills and stuff that we don't know about. But, you know, when you look at her, her post, man, Roxanne is die hard. You know, she do cosplay. She do that stuff. But Roxanne is 100% in. She is a fighter. Deep down internally, so she a fighter. Now you get the Shevchenkos, they got other skill sets that do. You know, like you got Valentina. Valentina, know, you know, she make movies, man. You know, she's got what a degree in what in, in, in cinematography, and I think that's what Roger was telling me. So Valentina, you know, is gonna fall back on that part, you know, and you know probably do some commentating. You know, Antonina, I don't know what all her skill sets are, but I could probably see Antonina becoming a trainer. You know, 
Like, they're prepared for life after the fight game. Chris Cyborg is, you know, Amanda Nunes is. Like, these fighters, they're prepared for life after fighting. Like, they're trying to build a life after fighting. But some of these fighters, man, that just, it's almost like some of them, they just live the day to go to training. And then there's nothing else after that. There, there's nothing. There's nothing else. Like, they're not, they just want to fight. And then when the reality hit them, they're, oh, I can't fight no more. Then what? Oh, you got fighters like Marion Reno who, you know, she opened her own gym. And by the way, I'm actually making a video about uh, Marion Reno's new gym. So, you know, stay tuned for that one. But, uh, you know, like, they done trans. Like, Marion was like, yo, she said, coach, <laughs> I got a gym. And, you know, my gym is doing well, you know, financially. And, you know, when she done fighting, Mari going to work in that gym. She's going to retire from teaching. I'm sure she is. And she's going to work in that gym full time, you know, because they say they got too many. They got a lot of people in there now that they, you know, they need help. So this is what, you know, this is what it is. And I know I went off onto a whole nother note on this whole thing. But I just see this as a fight for Antonina. It's a stay busy fight. And, you know, Roxanne, Mike, Roxanne might have fair. She's a sacrifice. Tell me what you think, guys. It's your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Support the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.